The Washington Commanders are undoubtedly going to build an offense around Eric B. Enemy, and he's going to get his guys. Yes, Sam Howell showed some stuff last year. I know that there is some, uh, there's a, a need at quarterback. You just got rid of Carson Wentz. Sam Howell showed a lot last year. So while I, I agree that, yes, you, do you want to trade up for a quarterback to number one? Eh, I don't know. Do you want to draft one maybe in the second or third round to maybe just see how things go? Maybe. Maybe, but for today, we are going to, we're going to like skip it until the later rounds ish and just see how the rest of this board falls as we do our latest Washington Commanders mock draft. It's seven rounds, high speed, low drag, advanced settings because, uh, or default settings, excuse me, because we really don't want to, you know, we don't want to mess with this. I, uh, we've tried messing with some different things and it just doesn't end up uh, correct in any way. So we're going to go ahead, uh, sim all the way down to the Commanders at 16. Starting out right away, so Brian Branch is there. Uh, none of the t like tackles uh, are there, which is kind of shocking. So Broderick Jones went. Anton Harrison's still there. Um, ooh, Paris Johnson went. See, none of the tackles went. That's a tough spot. Probably a worst-case scenario. But for as it stands right now, so uh, I'm going to trade down because there's no guys. Uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention the needs there for the commander. So needs uh, tackle, tight end, corner, linebacker, and then also uh, offensive line. I like corner. I think we can get... Uh, I want to trade down a little bit. I, I also want to see if I can get back into the first round. So I'm going to trade down a bit uh, because I maybe want to get Joey Porter or Deontay Banks. And I think uh, being back at 21 will be perfect for that. Plus, we want to get Anton Harrison. So give me your two. And what's 150? Is that a five? 158 is a five. So two, five, six. Two, five, six. And you get and you move up five spots. Fine. Two, five. What do you say? Cool. So we got a se extra second round pick and a fifth. So we're going to resume the draft here. So then you get to 21 here. Yes, Joey Porter Jr. went. It is what it is at that point. But Deontay Banks is here. I really like his length. I like his his uh, ball may, uh, ball playing ability. Excuse me. I think he's going to be fantastic. I will go with him. However, I also want to move back 36. So if I give you the Chargers second round pick and their fifth, no. Second four. Second future four. Second four future four. Don't love it. You got to give me a seventh this year. What do you say? So you give up a second four and a future four. You got to give me a little something more. Give me a six this year. What do you say? No. 189. Future four. A second four, future four, just to get back. Uh, move. Oh, that's a lot, though. That's a lot. Give me 191. Give me a six. They really don't want to play right now, do they? A second, two fours, fine. I don't love it, but what? Second four and a uh, 158. All right, now you got to give me a 189. Come on, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Fine. All right, uh, we will go ahead. Uh, I need to get a trade because I want to get back up into the first round. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get Deontay Banks here, but then I'm going to pause the draft. Pause. So Deontay Banks, uh, we got him at corner. I love it. Uh, and then I think we're going to go get our guy at, uh, so two. Can I trade with the Rams again? <laughs> I don't think he's going to fall that far. So 32 to the Steelers. Wait, do they have a need a tackle? They do, don't they? Yeah, so Anton Harrison's probably going to go there. I would say the Eagles. What's up? So the Eagles will give you two and a four. Two, four, six next year. Two, four, five. Uh, you're moving down 17 spots. What do you say? No, they say no. Two, four, future four. Two four three, okay. Two four three. Will you give us a three? You give us a, fu a future five, future four. Cool. So we traded a two four and a future three. We got the first round pick this this year from the Eagles, and we also got a four next year. Not great, but hey, we need to get back up. So we're going to resume the draft, and we're going to go up and get Anton Harrison, uh, who's going to start for you at left tackle. Dude's going to be an absolute stud for you. We could actually trade down probably here, but I really don't want a chance the Steelers taking this guy because I think he's going to be in the perfect position for the commander. So Anton Harrison, love it. So you get your uh, you get help at corner, you get some help at tackle. 
And now we get into the fun part because I want to be able to get tight end. I want to be able to get a lot of different things. So corner and tackle are taken care of. Uh, let's see, 53. Who wants to trade? Who's there? Actually, who's there? Before we get too wild. Ooh. Austin Weipler is there. Or Luke Weipler. Oh, Austin Weipler. Luke Weipler is there. I do want offensive line help. Did Oh, Steve Avila went right before. Oh, that's tough. Okay, fine. Daryl Washington's there. He's going to, I'm telling you, he is going to go a lot sooner than a lot of people think. Him in the second round is a lot of fun. Darnell Washington, he's an absolute stud. He's a mismatch. Third. And he'd be a lot of fun with Washington. He'd be a lot of fun. But we also need center. We need some center help. We do. Uh, so John Michael Schmitz, I think he went already. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he went to the Bucks. So, okay, fine. I will go ahead and uh, Luke Weipler there at center. I really like it. Plus, I think you can do some different things uh, with him, and I think you can still find a tight end in the third round that you uh, that you really like. So you got your starter at center. I love it. Uh, and you also got your starter at future left tackle. You got corner help. Uh, tight end, here we go. Who's there? Moro Jomo. Jacorian Bennett's there. So, Tucker Craft is probably going to be here. Tucker Craft. He went to, ooh, the Chargers. That's a nasty, nasty. Oh, Sam Laporta's there at tight end. I do like me some Sam Laporta. And getting him uh, in, at 97, that's kind of low-key a steal. How far is he going to fall, though? Because I got tackle. Corner's good. Offensive line should be good. Uh, or ish. I said ish. I want to trade down a little bit. I don't want to trade down a ton, but I want to get some stuff. So 141, 195. So 141 and a future four. Miami's future fourth. And a five. So 141. So you're trading down 11 spots for a fifth. I don't love that at all. For a future four. Four five. For a future four. Cause I want to get so we'll get Laporta here. I might I'm gonna trade back up here. Nope, we're gonna go wild with it. So uh in the third, I want to trade with the Browns. What's up, Browns? How's it going? So for your third, we'll give you our we'll give you the Eagles four. And a five. So now a four five, that's too much. So three is one fifty two R four? No, that is not. Because we don't have a fourth round pick right now. That's tough. Okay. Uh because I want Sam Laporta. We also got some because I want to get <sighs> do some of these linebackers fall to you at one fifty two? I think so. I think they do. There's too many linebackers here. Sam Laporta, tight end. I love it. So, Sam Laporta, I was going to trade out, but you've got back-to-back -back picks in the fifth round. Um, I do think you can get some very valuable linebackers in the fifth round that will help you out a lot. So, yeah, I'm going to go that route. That route, absolutely, full-heartedly. So, Dorian Williams and Ivan Pace fall to you. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Ivan Pace. Ugh. Yuck. That is just, uh, you love it. So, Ivan Pace falls to you. Uh, big, fast, can cover. Not even a, uh, not even hesitation there. So now you get into oh then there's Cam Jones of course. Aiden O'Connell's just sitting there in the fifth round. I mean <sighs> Jonah Tavai as well. He's a stud. Jonah Tavai is a stud. So tackle tight end corner linebacker offensive line we got everything covered. Do we want to go guard though? Who's there a guard? I think Chandler Zavala is there. Yeah, Chandler Zavala is there. Antonio Maffi. For right now, because of where he's at, Aiden O'Connell. Aiden O'Connell's got a lot of promise. He really does. Like I said, uh, there's too many other weapons, and plus I think you can get a lot of other help in a lot of places. So, oh, Tyler Lacey's there at edge. That's good value there. So, guard, center. Okay.
Okay. Don't need a running back, that's for sure. Ventrell Miller. Tyler Lacey? I'm sorry, but Tyler Lacey is a really good player. Plus, uh, that kind of value, I like it. I like it. Now at center. We got anybody at center there? Jake Bobo. Katian. Katian. I can't even pronounce that. Ooh, Elijah Higgins. I like me some Elijah Higgins. Uh, Darius Davis. TJ Bass. Hmm. Who's just there? Who's just there? I love the, the value of trading here. I know you don't need safety, but I mean, it, it, he the fact that he keeps falling is an absolute shocker to me. It really is. Uh, so finally there, we already got center help slash guard. I think that, uh, you know, with what you got in the second round, I think he's going to be in a four Sith. Fine. Well, no. Darius Davis? Nah, Ryan Greenhagen. I love it. This dude, Ryan Greenhagen is going to really be a fan favorite there in Washington. I believe it. I fully believe it. Cool. All right. That's how the first, uh, or with this mock draft will end for the commanders. So Deontay Banks here. So what you do first is you trade down from 16 to 21. You get an extra two and a five. You also get Deontay Banks and some more draft ammo. So I really like it here. So uh, Deontay Banks, don't care what about the grade from PFF. Deontay Banks is a stud. He's lanky. He's going to give you some size on the outside. Love it. Uh, Anton Harrison there, your future starting left tackle. Also love that because I think you can get him there at 30. Uh, after that, I mean, and it looks like the Steelers might take him at 32 or pretty close to there. So Anton Harrison going to be your future starting left tackle there. Uh, then you also... By the way, you gave up a two, four, and a future three. Don't love the trade, but you also got a fourth round pick back next year. So it's kind of balances out. It's, it is what it is because you got to trade back up and get Anton Harrison. So um, Luke Weipler, your starting center, love it. He's going to split you, you plug him in right away, and you don't even have to worry about it. So uh, Sam Laporta there falls to you in the third round. Love it. You're going to get out some other other help. I also called Logan Thomas was going to be a stud, uh, but getting his eventual replacement here in Sam Laporta, uh, yes, I absolutely love it. Then, and then Ivan Pace falling to you in the fifth round. That's just a match made in heaven for the commanders. You love it. You absolutely love it. Uh, Aiden O'Connell, a little bit later on there uh, that you got in a trade. What was that with? I can't remember. I think that was, uh, yeah, with the uh, Chargers there. Aiden O'Connell at quarterback. Again, I didn't really want to uh, go with quarterback because I felt like Sam Howell really showed a lot last year, so I really wanted to stick with, uh, with him. Him. But hey, if Aiden O'Connell falls to you that late in the fifth round, eh, you'd be an idiot not to do it. So Tyler Lacey there also in the sixth round. Again, you don't need edge necessarily, but it never helps or never hurts, excuse me, to have some more help there at the edge position. And then Tyler or Trey Dean the third. How does he keep falling? Like uh, Trey Dean is going to be a starter in the NFL. It just it absolutely shocks me. And then Ryan Greenhagen. You love his name. This dude had like 25 tackles in one single game. He's going to be a, a special team's favorite, a fan favorite. Uh, he's going to be a lot of fun for uh, Washington Commander fans uh, and just everyone all around there. But that's it. That is our Washington Commanders mock draft where we build an offense for Eric B. Enemy uh, and really get things rolling here. Let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you. Down in the description below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below, and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about our Washington Commanders mock draft where we build an offense for Eric Bieniemy.